Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome back to another AWS This Week where we find out what goodies AWS have in store for us from the past seven days. For a change this week, I'm going to give you one big announcement and then go straight into the quickfire updates because there's so many of them. AWS have been really busy this week. Let's check it out. It's AWS This Week with me, Nick Triantafilu. The big one this week is that Amazon EC2 auto scaling has introduced predictive scaling as a native scaling policy. Predictive scaling assists you in auto scaling your services so you can be ready for upcoming demand while also helping you avoid the need to over provision capacity. It's appropriate for applications that experience recurring patterns of steep demand changes, like early mornings when people wake up or at night when people are done with work and go searching for entertainment. It learns from past patterns and launches instances in advance of predicted demand, which gives your instances time to warm up. It enhances your existing auto scaling policies too, such as target tracking or simple scaling, so that your applications scale based on both real time metrics and historic patterns. And you can even see how it's going to work by using a forecast only mode. Predictive scaling is available now in public AWS regions and CloudFormation support is coming soon, so be sure to check it out. All right, onto those quickfire headlines. Are you ready? Amazon EMR now supports Amazon EC2 on-demand capacity reservations. Amazon EventBridge now supports sharing events between event buses in the same account and region. Amazon LightSail is now available in the AWS Europe Stockholm region. Amazon X-Ray now supports VPC endpoints. Amazon RDS for Oracle now supports April 2021 release updates. Amazon Elastic File System now supports longer resource identifiers. Amazon Recognition Text Detection has been updated with support for more words with higher accuracy and lower latency. Amazon CloudWatch Logs service limits can now be managed with AWS service quotas. AWS Lambda extensions are now generally available. AWS Transfer Family now supports Microsoft Active Directory. AWS Database Migration Service now supports PostgreSQL version 13 in preview mode. AWS Transit Gateway Network Manager is now available in all GovCloud US regions. Amazon Aurora MySQL has improved availability of read replicas. And Amazon Aurora with MySQL also now supports T3 large instances. And finally, AWS Security Hub now supports bi-directional integration with Atlassian Jira Service Management. AWS have been really busy this week. All right, before we finish up, I'd just like to mention that ACLAD Guru has a free seven day trial for any of you who are thinking about learning more about any of the major cloud providers or getting certified. We have over 300 courses on AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Platform, Linux, DevOps, Kubernetes, Terraform, Ansible, and loads more. There's a link under the video, so if you're interested, please take a look. All right, that's all for me this week. Thanks for watching. Keeping awesome cloud gurus and I'll see you next time.